Hello and welcome to this physical chemistry tutorial. Today I would like to solve the following assignment regarding redox reactions. The purification process of silicon involves the reaction of silicon tetrachloride vapor with hydrogen to 1250 degrees Celsius to form solid silicon and hydrogen chloride. A. Write the balance equation for this reaction. B. What is being oxidized and what is being reduced. And C. Which substance is the reductant and which is the oxidant. In order to be able to solve the problem, I would like to talk a bit about its theoretical aspects. The name redox is a combination of the two words reduction and oxidation, processes that take place simultaneously in a redox reaction. Oxidation means loss of electrons, while reduction the gain of electrons is. By giving or accepting electrons, the oxidation number of the substance increases or decreases. The oxidation number tells us how prepared a reactant is to give or accept electrons. It can be determined by writing down the structure of the substance and knowing how electronegative an element is based on its position in the, in the periodic table. Now that we know all of this, we can get on to solve the problem. For A, we have to write the balance equation of this reaction, so we know that silicon tetrachloride vapor reacts with hydrogen vapor at 1250 degrees Celsius to form solid silicon and hydrogen chloride vapor. We see that we have four times more chlorine on the left side than on the right side, so we have to multiply hydrogen chloride by four. And now we have to balance the hydrogen atoms. We have four atoms on the right side, so we have to multiply the hydrogen molecule by two. Now that we have our balance equation, we can get on to B, which requires us to write the half reactions of oxidation and reduction which take place. For this we have to know the oxidation numbers of the elements in the reacting compounds. For reacting elements such as the hydrogen molecule and silicon we have zero. As for Hydrogen in compounds, it is often plus one. That leads us to an oxidation number for chlorine of minus one. And in order to get the sum of the oxidation numbers to zero in the silicon tetrachloride, we have to have an oxidation number for the silicon ion of plus four. Now we know that silicon decreases its oxidation number from plus 4 to 0 by accepting 4 electrons, while hydrogen increases its oxidation number from 0 to plus 1 by accepting 2 electrons. In order to balance the electrons in the two half reactions, we have to multiply the second half reaction by 2. Seeing that silicon accepts electrons and decreases its oxidation number, we can make a statement that silicon is being reduced, so this is the reduction, while hydrogen is being oxidized by giving electrons and increasing its oxidation number from 0 to plus 1. So now that we have determined which one of the half reactions the reduction is and which one the oxidation is, we can say which substance the reductant is and which one the oxidant is. We see that hydrogen is giving electrons to silicon so it is forcing silicon to be reduced. So hydrogen must be the reductant.
while our silicon tetrachloride, where we can find our silicon plus 4 ion, is in turn being deoxidant by requiring the four electrons from hydrogen.